Okay, this is what I've done so far, just to show you how you could kind of work with this animation type thing. Um, I made this little animation where keyframe by keyframe, this is called keyframing animation, uh, each keyframe I typed, uh, the first keyframe what I did was, is I typed a letter, I typed a letter L. I just took my text tool and on the top layer there, I just clicked on the stage and typed the letter L like that. And then I added a keyframe. I went to the next frame, right? Hit F6 to add a keyframe. Make sure that I got a blank empty hole, like a little circle right there. And then I added letter by letter, right? So I'm going to delete this one right now. Get my black selection tool and select that letter and then press delete. Okay? So I added keyframe by keyframe and I got this, um, I got this, this, uh, I built a word, you know, a sentence. Learn computers the fun way. All right, so that goes out like that. All right, no big deal. And then at the bottom frame here, I added regular frames so that the background stays visible all the way through the animation. It's not there, so like right here, I could right-click, insert frame on the bottom layer, and now the, the background stays up to 40, and this animation happens to here. Okay, then on this last keyframe. I did two little drawings with the paintbrush tool here. I drew like a little fish and when I was using the paintbrush tool I would change the size of my brush right here. Right? I did not turn on object drawing. See that's object drawing is on, off. I just drew with this object drawing button off. Okay? And all, all I changed was the size of my brush. And I also changed the color of the fill. Right? This is all, since it was a paintbrush, it all uses the fill color which is this paint bucket color, right? Paint bucket color chip right here. So you know, I, I changed this to like let's say orange, and I painted like that, right? Something like that. And I painted two little characters. I painted this little swimming guy right here, okay, which I can highlight. And I painted this fish here that I can highlight. Notice my background doesn't get selected because I've got it unlocked, right? If I click here, up oh, it selects the background. I don't want that, so um, I lock the background so I don't select it, right? So anyway, um, so I thought about um, making these characters do something in an animation that might be fun, right? So what I'm going to do is, right now, um, I'm going to select this fish, and notice that the keyframe is highlighted right here, and I can see that he's selected. So I know I've just selected the fish because I've locked the background layer, and I'm going to convert him to a symbol. So I'm going to say Modify, Convert to Symbol, I'm going to make him a movie clip, and I'm going to give him the name Fish. Okay, click OK, and now you'll see that this fish that I drew has this blue box around him. Okay, and when he's selected over on the right hand side, it says movie clip over here. Properties, it's a movie clip. All right, and you can do all these cool things with movie clips. So it's really important to, you know, make photographs into movie clips or make text into movie clips or put, um, drawings in the movie clips, all kinds of stuff. So now I've got this movie clip, right? And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to cut him, edit, cut, so he disappears, and then I'm going to make a new layer by going down to this little button right here, make a new layer, and I will set up a keyframe right up here, let's say, or right here. All right, I'll select one of these, either right click on it, insert keyframe, right there's my keyframe, and now edit paste in place means paste him in the same place or paste in center either way paste in place he's pasted in the same place and so there's my um, fish he gets pasted in notice he got pasted in with a keyframe but then regular frames all the way to the end of the movie by default okay that's just normal all right now this character I gotta do the same thing I've got to um, I'm just gonna right now what I'll do is I'll select him modify convert to symbol I'll uh, give him the name Swimmer. Make sure he's a movie clip. There's three choices here, movie clip, button, or graphic. I want movie clip. Click OK. And now he's a movie clip. And I'm just going to keep him on that other layer for now, right? That's fine for now. I'll just keep him there, right? And I'll even put regular frames here till the end. So right-click here, insert frame, all right? 
So now I've got this fish on a separate layer all by himself. And now it'll be easier to animate him. And then maybe I can animate him so that he um, swims over these letters. And then maybe he swims back. And to do that, I'm going to use motion tweening, which is kind of an advanced um, type of animation. And uh, we'll go over that in the next movie.